George Essie, congratulations on the film. Um, mother and son. Yeah. A relationship that's really key to the film. So how did you go about developing that? Did you get lots of rehearsal time together? We didn't have lots of rehearsal time together, but George came to Australia months and months and months before we started filming to, uh, A, because filming was going to be much earlier, <laughs> um, and then, but also to start preparing for the role and the accent and learning how to do lots of things that weren't necessarily in the film, wood chop and... Yeah. And uh, he came and lived with us and we we went bushwalking together mm-hmm. and, you know... Cooking. Cooking. <laughs> we, we did, did girls. Listen. Yeah, we just did. We spent time. Yeah. And we were talking about, like, we talking about it earlier. We were both a little bit worried and have said we were a bit worried to kind of meet each other rather than have the characters meet. Why? Just to because, I don't know, maybe for the, uh, I wanted Ellen to be this kind of uh, super, super, attractive and um, strong woman <laughs> and Which you I are. <laughs> well, come oh, on no, to I don't feel I, like and I feel that's like I'm like <laughs> I'm just like a, a you know a no, yeah, no. soft little oh I'm not really Ellen and uh, <laughs> I wanted I wanted George to kind of meet me and be blown away but it was just not going to happen I, and I felt the same about Ned I was <laughs> I was wearing this broad-shouldered, bearded, like, kind of, just this sort of embodiment of Australian masculinity. And sort of like... So what sort of preparation did you do for that role, then, in the end? Oh, so much. Like, so, so much. much. Where, like, Justin first asked for, a, like, a physical transformation. So his kind of, his muscularity, his physical presence, which kind of, that took, took work. And uh, he wanted me to live on a station and compromised and went to a farm and spent time with horses, went chop wood. Spent time with Essie and, and Justin, and um, there was a lot of reading and watching and listening and music. And then when we came to rehearse as a gang, um, he got us. He booked us a gig in Melbourne in a bar in Melbourne because he said, "I see you guys as a punk band, so you need to write." I was going to ask you about that. Yeah. How did that come about? Justin was Justin just, uh, just insisted. It's yeah. part of the preparation. <laughs> yeah. He was like, "I see you guys as punks, and you've got to learn to listen to each other in a certain way, and you've got to have that attitude." And uh, I want you sharing work and sharing yourselves. So, yes. And Pick up an instrument, write some music. You've got a gig in three weeks. Yeah, and that's <laughs> nothing like, nothing and you like did a de- it. Yeah, nothing like a deadline to make you do it, eh? <laughs> I know, and they were amazing. And, you know, with the, they performed at, um, at a music venue in Melbourne to 350 odd people and under a completely different name and had, had never performed as a band. Mm. And, um, they put on their frocks and charcoaled up their faces and then they did their eight or ten songs and they were mind-blowing. So brilliant. can we watch or listen to this anyway? Well, we're working out. Well, two songs are in the film, actually. Right. There's the, the boxing match that begins sort of my section The second Ned, half, yeah. And the final. Uh, and, the fi- and the final song. Final song as the credits after, roll. as the credits roll. But, uh, but apart from that, it's not had a, a broader release Well, we've yet. actually like just, the, just an email. Yeah, we've e- emailed, emailed last week and we're going to try and release your songs. And so, yeah, I'll, I'll let you know when the date's going out. But I think, yeah, I, yeah. I think we, we should. They're, I think they're should really too. catchy. They're amazing. It was quite a performance. And there's nothing like that kind of uh, intense creation of a bond that they could then swagger on to set the next day. And they were they were a gang like mm. there's no one no one had done anything with them except for um mum and dad yeah red, red kelly and ellen <laughs> we, we we danced out danced ourselves through the mix fairly yeah yeah definitely want to yeah. see this george <laughs> see thank you very much indeed thank, thank you so pleasure. much